Okay, uh, this time, can you please listen to me clearly here? Uh, good afternoon, thank you, Baba. I just started this uh, again. Okay, so, uh, yes, can you please listen to me clearly? Please write it down. Thank you. Uh, so as you just look at the screen there, everything is fine. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, here you see, look at the screen there. Hygiene is two thirds of the health. That means in the last class we learned about health and the importance of health and how we can be healthy, right? Uh, by taking uh, different initiatives like by keeping uh, cleanliness, uh, following the rules of health and by eating properly, by taking regular exercises and so on, okay? But one thing that is very important, hygiene is a very important word for keeping in good health and probably here yeah, today we will just learn about the about the uh, process uh, practice of keeping uh, hygiene right in our health in our body right so uh, that's good so that's why the importance of hygiene is uh, written there as you see hygiene is two-thirds of the health that means the health that we get actually it good health depends on uh, two-thirds uh, for hygiene right thank you very much here you see, I will show you some of the pictures there. So in the first picture, what you see, the boy is coughing, right? As you have written down, thank you very much, the boy is coughing. And at this period of coronavirus, this is very essential for us to uh, follow the or practice the rules of hygiene, of course. And because after coughing, uh, we will just wash our hands, okay? And then I'll show you another picture there. Uh, there you see in the second picture there you see the boy is washing hands. The boy is usually not only after coughing whenever we just go outside and back home and then we will just uh, wash our hands properly, right? Wash our hands properly uh, so that <clears throat> so that uh, we can keep fit, right? And then another picture I, you see, the right, we will have to take bath properly. Uh, and uh, we'll have to wash our shampoo and so on so that just to keep our body clean right uh, that's good thank you uh, thank you Rafid uh, yeah so this time can you can please listen to me clearly right no problem indeed so I have to call my internet connection uh, properly Okay, that's good. I will show you another picture that these uh, three pictures are related to our personal hygiene. These three pictures are related to our personal hygiene. The hygiene is of two kinds. One is personal and the one is uh, talking about our environment, our surroundings, our office and working places as well. And in the later picture, as you see, uh, that means we are keeping our surroundings clean. That is our environmental hygiene. Okay. And then I will show you another picture. This is very common at home. Usually we find at home. We usually have to clean our, uh, keep our houses clean, neat and clean, uh, so that, uh, so that, uh, right, the boy and girl are cleaning garden. That's good. Thank you very much, Tuhi. And here you see, uh, uh, hygiene is the workplace. Wherever we work, not only we will keep hygiene at our home, at our personal life, not that. Whenever we just go outside, wherever we go, probably we go to school, we go to colleges or universities, or sometimes we go to our offices. And of course there, we will have to keep hygiene, or practice hygiene. That means everywhere we'll have to do it. Otherwise, uh, we may suffer from different kinds of diseases because you see uh, in the environment, we had to we have to face a lot of viruses and bacteria right uh, surrounding us so here we have to be proper we have to properly we have to follow the rules of hygiene so that we can keep fit okay and that's hygiene right that's hygiene probably these pictures are related to the word hygiene as you know 
so what is our topic today can you guess what is our topic today so you please write down our topic what do you think our topic today is right so would you please write down what's our topic today Rafid Hyzen and be careful about the spelling of Hyzen H-Y-G-I-E-N-E -E. so be careful about the spelling that's why I just told you to write it down whenever you the uh, about the age that oh, Rafi you have made the made the wrong spelling your spelling is wrong so be careful about the spelling spelling right that's good health and hygiene so uh, that wrong is spelling so correct it please that's why I have told you to write it down so that you can understand the word will be the spelling right the spelling of hygiene that's good and here look at there you see your hygiene is there and be careful about the spelling of hygiene h y g i e n is your answer and it is from your unit three lesson three and this is very very important lesson so important lesson okay uh, for you and you have to be very careful about this unit about this lesson as well so let's start our class from there so can any one of you just write down i have shown you some of the pictures i have just declared the topic that i am going to uh, we are going to read today so what do you mean by hygiene can you please write down the answer of the question what do you mean by hygiene from all of these pictures so probably you can understand what hygiene is so would you please write down what hygiene is anyone Uh, anyone? Ah, yeah, the hygiene spelling is wrong, so would you please write it correctly? Yes, this time H Y G I E N E. This time your answers, your your you have written correctly. Thank you very much. So, what do you mean by hygiene? Keeping ourselves and surroundings clean. Ali Flikachu, that's great. That's wonderful, right? so that means keeping ourselves and our surroundings clean okay that's wonderful rules of cleanliness wow mamun thank you very much so anyone uh, can you please understand anything so your answer may be wrong no problem so you please simply write down what do you mean by hygiene the word that i have already told you several times okay i have started giving the lesson uh, by using the word the first word that i have just used in this lesson the word is hygiene right means the practice of keeping ourselves clean not only ourselves but also uh, but also our surroundings our environment our working place our living place uh, these things all of these things clean that's great thank you very much for writing the answer so let's go uh, for the some of the keywords there so what is the um, uh, girl doing or the what is the woman doing there so look at the screen and please write down a sentence about the about the picture Make a sentence. It also means to keep our home and workplace clean. I, that's great. That's wonderful. That means I have told you about three things. One is ourselves, keeping ourselves clean. Second thing, our living place clean. And third thing, our workplace or surroundings clean. Okay. So uh, these three things are very important. And you have to keep it in mind they are cleaning their table right they are cleaning their table at home and this is the thing that we will have to do right uh, that means this uh, this is one part of she is cleaning the surface of a table that's good Joshua, thank you very much alif we should clean our homes okay let's see though your word is their hygiene uh, and hygiene means a keeping our surroundings clean our home clean ourselves clean our working place clean okay this is the thing that's why each of time i should i have just used this picture to mean that keeping clean keeping clean what cleaning ourselves cleaning our surroundings cleaning living place cleaning working place okay that's good and the word hygiene i have used here so the practice of keeping ourselves living and working places clean okay uh, probably you can understand now hygiene is important for good health and the this is there also as well you can understand the meaning now so let's see another word very important word is there before you that is godliness godliness is the word so anyone can you please write down what do you mean by godliness the word comes from the god 
comes from God godliness uh, you can understand please so what do you mean by godliness that means uh, uh, godliness okay uh, and here your word is of course godliness so he gives the word godliness means devotion to God Godliness, godliness man ho thay jay Sishti kotta noi kotto love I mean God ekhane Bebhar kore thi doesn't actually This is in the the word is in your text That's why I have used it But we can think that Jay devotion to Allah Devotion to God Allah Almighty Okay Devotedly religious That's good The quality of being religious That's wonderful Thank you Okay to God and we should practice hygiene for the purpose of godliness and godliness is very important uh, because as you know the religion if we think about our Islam religion and not only about uh, if we think about the Islam but if you uh, think about any other religion as well so in every religion uh, this cleanliness is given much more importance Namaz said, you know, Jesus is a shop cleanliness. He had said, I want to say, as a precondition of Namaz, Namaz a poor shorto. To me, the Porchona Capo Naporo, to me, the Oju Nakoro, Tikmo the Gosu Nakoro, Tarliki to my Namaz Hobby, sitting in the Hobbana. Tarmana de Hoje, Amnesty, the Amade Sistikot and Nuko to Lakurte Chai. To at that time, we have to be pure. Now, we have to be uh, clean, right? We have to follow the uh, we have to follow the rules of health, practicing rules of health, right? So, it take a mother into shower again. I'm follow court to have a tarpori into we can pray to the Almighty Allah. Each one again to act as a director related to me. Namas behest the chabi our namas ke proper hotel to more also projon of the jay shop preconditions. Kulodorka shiguling into shabby hygiene at part. Probably you can understand. So, a cleanliness or hygiene is close to godliness, is next to godliness. Probably you can understand five times daily, right? So this is so important thing. If you just clean your faces, hands, and if you uh, perform ozu five times a day, I think I think everything will be okay, and you will properly follow the hygiene, right? That's why it is said that uh, I, cleanliness is next to godliness. Okay, and there, look at the third picture there, and the man. What is the man doing? The man is. Uh, up staring right staring upwards and for what for a success because uh, success is in front of him right as you are working hard for gaining a success right for your JSC exam so likewise the boy is doing so yes Junshio the word is achievement is the word thank you very much so looking at the picture you can understand that he is working or he is uh, working hard uh, for an achievement which is in front of him right which is in front of him right that's good and achievement is the word right not only uh, right man is going to success that's good so the here the word here you see achieve is your word and achieve means what achieve means to succeed in doing something as it means achieve means to succeed in doing something that's uh, right see the screen properly right Okay, so uh, you can achieve kora, kono kicho arjun kora. The man is has successfully or finally achieved success or uh, to reach his goal. That's that's wonderful. Side, please can see the right side. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Can you please now see it properly? Thank you. So uh, we came to know about um, uh, about three words there and first word was hygiene and the second word was godliness and the third word that was achieve is your word probably you can understand the meaning from the pictures and from the synthesis as well okay thank you Achha, no problem uh, I mean if I go to the left side if I go to the go to my left uh, then uh, you can see the power Turn your screen. Okay, there is one problem. So, I'm going to do it. So, this is the better setup. So, there you see the word is there. 
well what is the boy doing now what is the boy doing just in this way sitting in that posture right so what someone someone does okay uh, so what 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 does the boy do it's a key meditation that's good then no, no use of bangla you have to write down in english right so ruma rahman likacho yoga that's good that's wonderful meditation is the thing meditation is the thing right so why do we meditate amar ashole meditate keno kori ha ekhon hoyto amader meditation ta ekhon adhunik samajer jonno meditation ta ke amra byabohar korchi amader shasthyer jonno jeta ke amra naam diyechi yoga kintu dekho 570 kristabdo ba taro ager shomoy theke je sob religion e je sob religious people ra tara kintu shob meditation er madhye sob kichu achieve koreche tader je spiritual life spiritual thinking sob kichu kintu tara kibhabe lab koreche ei je ekta meditation er madhye right so ei meditation er madhye you can you can just achieve or you can just get spiritual life amra spiritual life আমরা সৃষ্টিগত সাথে কথা বলা বা আল্লাহ নৈকট্য লাভ সব কিছু কিন্তু এই আমরা কিন্তু দৌড়াতে দৌড়াতে বা হাঁটতে হাঁটতে পড়ালেখা করতে করতে আমরা কিন্তু সৃষ্টিগত লাভ করতে পারি না আমাদের ইফ উই ওয়ান্ট টু গেট দ্য ক্লোজ কানেকশন উইথ দ্য অল মাইটি দেন উই হ্যাভ টু গো টু আ গো টু আ কাম আর গো টু আ সাইলেন্ট প্লেস দেয়ার অ্যান্ড দেন উইল উইল হ্যাভ টু মেডিটেট রাইট অ্যান্ড মেডিটেশন ইজ দ্য ওয়ার্ড দ্যাটস গুড and i uh, this uh, just uh, speak about that spirituality is the word spiritually is the word and here you see spiritual means with regard to spirits spirit mane ki spirit artho hocche je atta tar mane amader atta sathe related je bishoy gulo shei gulo ke amra bolchi spiritually spiritual or spiritually okay probably you can understand with regard to spirit spirit mane amader atta we have two types of existence amader dui dhoroner ostitto royeche ekta hocche amader physical body jeta ke amra bolchi je ম্যাটেরিয়াল এটাকে কি বলছি ম্যাটেরিয়াল আর একটা হচ্ছে যে আমরা মারা যাওয়ার পরে আমাদের যে সোল থাকবে সোল ইট উইল গো টু দ্য নেক্সট ওয়ার্ল্ড এটা পরের জগতে চলে যাবে স্পিরিচুয়াল লাইফে চলে যাবো আমরা তখন সো উই হ্যাভ টু টাইপস অফ ওয়ার্ল্ড উই হ্যাভ না উই আর লিভিং ইন দ্য ম্যান্ডেন ওয়ার্ল্ড এম ইউ এন ডি এন ই যেটাকে মান্ডেন বলা হচ্ছে বা পার্থিব বা ম্যাটেরিয়াল ওয়ার্ল্ড অ্যান্ড নেক্সট ওয়ার্ল্ডে আমরা স্পিরিচুয়াল লাইফে চলে যাব তার মানে এই পৃথিবীতে বাস করেও কিন্তু আমরা স্পিরিচুয়াল লাইফে যেতে পারি কিভাবে থ্রু দিস মেডিটেশন ওকে অ্যান্ড উই ক্যান নট অ্যাচিভ এনিথিং স্পিরিচুয়ালি ইফ উই আর আনক্লিন বাট অফ কোর্স ইফ উই ওয়ান্ট টু অ্যাচিভ এনিথিং স্পিরিচুয়ালি ইউ হ্যাভ টু বি ক্লিন and then the next word there you see just look at the picture this picture is awesome and uh, just i had to work a lot to find out this picture so what do we find there one man who is lying and something is going out of him towards the sky so what is that can you please write it down just be very careful carefully write soul that's good he is dead he is dead clean both uh, inside and outside that's good fine so inside means actually cleaning in our mind okay soul that's wonderful that's uh, the right answer those who have ayat likhacho thank you very much for your answer death the man died the man died and his soul is going out going out of him right the soul is going out of he man going to the almighty allah হ্যাঁ সেখানে যাচ্ছে তো দ্যাটস ওয়াই দ্য বডি দ্যাট মিন্স আওয়ার ম্যাটেরিয়াল যে অ্যাপিয়ারেন্স অর আওয়ার ম্যাটেরিয়াল যে এক্সিস্টেন্স সেটা পড়ে রয়েছে দেখো ওখানে আর তার ভিতর থেকে সে আত্মাটা আসলে চলে যাচ্ছে যদিও আসলে দিস ইজ কমপ্লিটলি অ্যান্ড ইমেজিনারি স্টোরি ইমেজিনারি পিকচার এটা আমাদের কল্পনায় আমরা এভাবে ভাবতে পারি বাস্তবে আসলে কখনোই আমরা দেখতে পারি না আমাদের আত্মাটাকে রাইট ওকে ব্রেথস ইজ লাস্ট থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ so there you see one sentence is what the word is soul soul is your word soul is your word and soul means what the 
spiritual part of a person so as i have already told you we have two existence one is in the mundane that means material world another one is in the spiritual world and in the spiritual world our body will not go there we will be reformed amra shekhane ki korbo abar notun kore রিজারেকশান হবে আমাদের পুনো জাগরণ হবে ঠিক আছে আমাদের সোলগুলো থেকে আমরা রিজারেক্ট করবো আবার আগের মতো আবার সেখানে এই চেহারা এই তোমাদের রেজারসারের মতো এই পচা চেহারা নিয়ে সেখানে কিন্তু জন্মাব না আমরা সেখানে কিন্তু অনেক সুন্দর সুন্দর চেহারায় আমরা সেখানে আমাদের সোলগুলো নতুন একটা এক্সিস্টেন্স পাবে ওকে সো প্রবলি ইউ ক্যান আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড Uh, you can understand that that soul our soul will be resurrected our soul will be reshaped in that world probably you can understand i have our total body will be collapsed in the cover right but our soul will uh, be resurrected through a new body formation okay so, so soul may allah have mercy on his soul probably you can understand Achha. And then uh, here you see uh, another picture is there, uh, the picture, the girl who is just uh, smelling something bad from the mouth, right? So uh, sometimes it so happens uh, when you wear the dress again and again, then this type of dress uh, or socks and so shoes, right, smell bad, okay? That means the word comes here, the word smell, the word comes here is smell and uh, that we sense through noses amra amader nag diye je jinish ta grohon kori amader we have six senses uh, we have seven sense seven sense ki bolo to acha ekhane tahole amra je amader nag diye je sense ta niye thaki shetake bola hocche smell right dirty give a bad smell and we have come to know about another three what's there is spiritually is the word or is the word and smell is the word okay and then just look at the picture this picture is taken from your eft book and what what do you mean by all of these pictures actually ki bujhte parchi in the first picture someone some woman who is just cleaning the outside of the house or in, uh, or the amra je ke uthan boli ba yard bole thaki right she is she is cleaning the yard and uh, washing hands and taking exercise regularly so right alif islam likhacho all these are the pictures related to hygiene that's wonderful right this is hygiene that means there are three uh, uh, three techniques or the processes or practices that we will have to do for our uh, for practicing hygiene that's good acha we have five uh, right five senses and six sense i'm sorry sixth sense what is the name of the sixth sense right say so sixth sense and nam ki acha okay so uh, let's go there we will go for the text now and before going to the text there are three questions for you ekhane tin ta proshno royeche and i will ask you to write down the answer uh, so you can ask me je before going to the text how can i write down the answer so you just write down the answer from your imagination from your thinking what the common sense i have just given you uh, right from your sixth sense uh, you have to write the answer of this question from your sixth sense that is common sense right okay now the first question is there you can see what can be a hot bed of germs you please write down what can be a hot bed of germs Uh, write down the answer please and if you cannot see the screen you can just bring out your eft book because this text is uh, taken from your eft lesson okay uh, you can go to your textbook what is hot bed right so write down the answer i didn't ask you to write down the question dirty clothes can be a hot bed of germs that's wonderful alif islam what's your real name so your name is alif So can you please write down your name? <coughs> you are writing the answer. Thank you very much for writing it. Achha, did the likhacho. So hands can be a high, right? Not only hands. You cannot say in that way. Dirty hands. Ah, uh, dirty hands. Ah, uh, a dirty hand can be a hard. bed of germs
hot bed uh, that means uh, uh, there actually germs can live comfortably right uh, what do you oh i'm sorry you asked oh, oh i'm sorry Junshia. so what is hot bed hot bed means actually uh, the fertile place for the germs probably you can understand jekhane ashole jemon amra fossil jekhane bhalo hoy shetake bole fertile land so as usually germs jekhane bhalo hoy shetake amra bolte pari hot probably you can understand an environment also can be a hot bed for the germs okay that's good some of your answers those who have written down that's great wonderful your answer is correct so next question for you how many times should we brush our teeth a day unclean body can yes of course unclean body can be a hot bed that's good so here uh, i have written down one answer but this answer is not absolutely right and your answer is not uh, wrong i must not say it okay uh, your answer is also right because this is an open-ended question so it is almost correct if it is grammatically right uh, touching our face by dirty hands can be a hard way. Yes, of course. Thank you very much. Thank you. So the next question, how many times should we brush our teeth a day? How many times should we brush our two or three times? Three times. So how many times you brush your teeth every day? If I ask you then, how many times should we brush our teeth a day? This is one question written there so two or three times as you have written down that's good now the question how many times do you brush your teeth every day two times three times that's good thank you very much right we'll have to brush our teeth at least twice a day two times a day and when when should we brush our teeth before going to sleep one is before going to sleep at night and another one and the one is after taking breakfast you will be surprised now after taking not just getting up from sleep you will brush your teeth not that you will just clean your mouth of course and then take breakfast and after taking breakfast you will brush your teeth okay so right then the third answer, what kind of uh, water should you drink yes we should drink pure water we should drink clean water of course and after breakfast and before going to bed after that that's right Alif thank you very much thank you for your writing the answer Joshua yes after taking breakfast thank you you know it so let's go to the text now and I will just read the text you can listen to me or you can also read with me but you have to understand the text because there are a lot of questions after the text the word hygiene means the practice of keeping ourselves clean. hygiene means that we practice of keeping ourselves clean. 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 We practice of keeping ourselves Jamon Tumra Kutai Katskoro, Tumra, you go to school, so your school is your workplace, and I also work there, so that is my workplace also. So, keeping not only keeping ourselves clean, but also keeping our home and workplaces clean. This is also hygiene. It is important for good health. So, why is hygiene important? That is a very important question indeed. So, and your answer is for our good health, for our good health. Next, hygiene is thought to be next to godliness. To the outside of the hygiene, it is network. It's only you love her. Oh, no, no, it's okay. I'm really afraid. Shit. <coughs> and the word hygiene is thought to be next to godliness, as you see, it is because we cannot achieve anything physically, mentally, or spiritually. If we are unclean in our world, nothing is impossible for you to gain or achieve without being clean, without uh, without being clean for our success, for our achievements. Okay. 
and uh, and we and not only we have to be clean our body as well as we have to clean in our mind and in our soul as well ঠিক আছে তাহলে আমাদের তিনটা বিষয় পরিষ্কার পরিচ্ছন্ন রাখতে হবে একটা হচ্ছে আমাদের শরীর আরেকটা হচ্ছে আমাদের মন আর একটা হচ্ছে আমাদের আত্মা ঠিক আছে অল দিস থ্রি থিংস শুড বি শুড বি ক্লিনড নো বডি লাইকস অ্যান্ড আনক্লিন পার্সন ইদার আবার অপরিচ্ছন্ন মানুষকে কেউই পছন্দ করে না সো উই মাস্ট ফলো দ্য রুলস অফ হাইজিন তাহলে আমাদের এই সব কিছুর জন্যই কি করতে হবে আমাদের হাইজিন অনুসরণ করতে হবে হাইজিনের নিয়মগুলো অনুসরণ করতে হবে অ্যান্ড দেন হিয়ার ইউ সি ফার্স্ট হাইজিনের জন্য আমাদের আসলে কি করতে হবে লেটসি ফার্স্ট উই মাস্ট কিপ আওয়ার বডি ক্লিন প্রথমত আমাদের শরীরকে পরিচ্ছন্ন রাখতে হবে উই শুড হ্যাভ আ বার্থ এভরি ডে আমাদের প্রতিদিন ওয়াশ আওয়ার হিয়ার রেগুলারলি আমাদের চুল মাথা এগুলো পরিষ্কার করতে হবে দিস উইল কিপ দ্য বডি অ্যান্ড হিয়ার ফ্রি ফ্রম ডার্ট অ্যান্ড ব্যাকটেরিয়া এবং ইউ উইল বি ইউ উইল বি রিয়েলি সারপ্রাইজ তোমরা যদি উই ক্যানট সি থ্রু আওয়ার মেটেরিয়াল এই যে আমাদের চোখ দিয়ে আমরা দেখি না অনেক কিছু ছোটো ছোটো জীবাণু সেগুলো কিন্তু আমাদের চার পাশ দিয়ে সবসময় আমাদেরকে ঘিরে আছে এবং আমাদের শরীরকে আক্রমণ করেই যাচ্ছে সো এই জন্য এই যে ডার্ট এবং ব্যাকটেরিয়া অ্যান্ড ভাইরাস এগুলো থেকে ইফ ইউ ওয়ান্ট টু বি ফ্রি দেন ইউ হ্যাভ টু টেক বার্থ অ্যান্ড ক্লিন ইউর বডি রেগুলারলি হেয়ার রেগুলারলি সেকেন্ডলি উই শুড ওয়াশ আওয়ার ক্লথস রেগুলারলি ডায়ারি ক্লথস কিউ আর ব্যাড স্মেল অ্যান্ড ইনভার্ট জার্মস এবং মজার ব্যাপার যে হট বেড যেটা বলছিলাম আসলে ডার্ডি ক্লথস আর দ্য বেস্ট হট বেড ফর দ্য জার্মস জার্মস ওই সব জায়গাগুলোই খুঁজে যে সব জায়গাগুলো ময়লা আছে যেমন তেলা পোকা কোথায় তেলা পোকা কি অনেক পরিচ্ছন্ন জায়গায় যদি নিয়ে এসে রাখো তাহলে তো সে বাঁচতেই পারবে না সে কোথায় ওই ময়লা জায়গাগুলো কিন্তু খুঁজে বের করে ঠিক একইভাবে জার্মস হোয়েন ইউ আর ইউর ক্লথস এ ডার্ডি দেন জার্মস আর অ্যাট্রাক্ট জার্ম কিন্তু জার্মসগুলো দূর থেকে ছুটে আসে তোমার শরীরের দিকে উই আর শুর ওয়ার সক্স এন্ড শুজ হ্যান্ড উই গো আউট টু প্রোটেক্ট আওয়ার ফিট ফ্রম ডাস্ট অ্যান্ড জার্মস আর আমরা আমাদের জুতা মোজা এগুলো পরে থাকি আমরা যখন বাইরে যাই তখন আমাদের পাকে রক্ষা করার জন্য আমাদের ওই সব ডাস্ট এবং জার্মস থেকে ইট ইজ অলসো ইম্পর্টেন্ট টু ওয়াশ আওয়ার হ্যান্ডস বিফোর মিলস আফটার ইউজিং টয়লেটস এগুলো ক্ষেত্রে আমাদের হাত পরিষ্কার রাখতে হবে উই শুড ব্রাশ আওয়ার টি টোয়াইস আ ডে দিনে দুবার আমাদের ব্রাশ করতে হবে আফটার ব্রেকফাস্ট অ্যান্ড অ্যান্ড সাপার রাইট এবং রাতের খাবারের পরে উই মাস্ট অলসো কাট আওয়ার নেলস রেগুলারলি আমাদের নখ বড় রাখা যাবে না তোমরা অনেকেই নখ বড় রাখো সো ইটস ভেরি ব্যাড থিং অ্যাবসলিটলি এটা আমাদের মনে রাখতে হবে ওয়ান ইভার ইউ উইল জাস্ট নট কাট ইউর নেলস প্রপারলি তখন এই জার্মসগুলো কিন্তু দিস ইজ দ্য হট বেড ফর জার্মস এই যে নখের যে ভিতরে যে ফাঁকা জায়গাগুলো থাকবে এইসব জায়গায় জার্মসগুলো কিন্তু লুকিয়ে থাকে এবং আমরা যখন আমাদের হাতটা ধুব তখন কিন্তু আমাদের এই নখগুলো অবশ্যই আমরা সুন্দর করে পরিষ্কার করে নিব রাইট আদারওয়াইজ জার্মসগুলো কিন্তু এখানে থেকে যাবে অ্যান্ড হোয়েন ইউ উইল গো টু ইট ফুড তখন কিন্তু সেই জার্মসগুলো আবার তোমাকে অ্যাটাক করবে রাইট থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাছ সো দেন রাইট আওয়ার ড্রিঙ্কিং ওয়াটার মাস্ট বি সেফ তারপরে আমাদের অবশ্যই আমরা যে পানি খাই সেটা নিরাপদ হতে হবে উই ক্যান সেফ উই ক্যান গেট সেফ ওয়াটার বাই বয়লিং অ্যান্ড ফিল্টারিং অ্যান্ড এবং আমাদের পানি সিদ্ধ করা অথবা ফিল্টারিং এর মাধ্যমে উই ক্যান গেট পিওর ওয়াটার সো অফকোর্স উই মাস্ট হ্যাভ টু হ্যাভ সেফ ওয়াটার রাইট উই হ্যাভ টু ক্লিন ইট উই হ্যাভ টু ফিল্টার ইট প্রপারলি আদারওয়াইজ ইট উইল ইট উইল Finally, we should keep our surroundings and environment clean. And later on, if we can keep ourselves right, then we'll go for our surroundings, our environment. Okay. But the first and the most important thing is to keep yourselves clean. So, that was the text. Uh, probably you have understood it. So, now we'll just go for some of the exercises that is given in your text. we'll just go for some of the exercises that is given in your text. So there you see there are six uh, uh, statements there so you will go for one by one you will write down number and then you will write down whether the statement is true or false okay uh, and no need to write down the right answer for your false statement you simply write
ओके जस्ट हमारे नेटवर्क टा चेंज कर फिल्टर होला ओके आई एम सॉरी दिस टाइम प्रॉब्ली आमी आश्ले आई वाज यू वाज यूजिंग वाईफाई व्हिच वाज वर्किंग बैड दैट्स व्हाई आई हैव टू चेंज माय network and this time i'm using my mobile data perhaps let's see whether mobile data works better or not if it is okay then from the next class i will go for the mobile data okay so i'm really sorry thank you so some of you yes you have written down the answer so all true 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 maniki alif what is it shop statement true this is so bad that means you have not gone through this uh, text it is in your eft book uh, if it is not okay then you can go to your eft book then okay all right so let's see the answer first one is cleanliness is uh, part of good health here you see uh, that means uh, this is true, of course. Uh, cleanliness is a part of good health. That amade bhalo shaste jono tondu jori. And second thing, cleanliness uh, is very important for mental health. Of course, this is again true. Thank you, those who have written down true. That's the right answer. So this time everything is okay. We're going fine. And here you see, we need to wear socks and shoes to look smart. To look smart, not actually to uh, keep or to protect our feet from germs and dust. Okay, and uh, that's the right. Thank you. I had like to show all the answers, so show your answers. Thank you. We need to brush our teeth uh, before meals. We need to brush our teeth uh, before meals. That's the right answer. Thank you. And we must uh, keep ourselves clean. We must keep ourselves clean. Uh, that's true. Okay, so from the next day, I will use my mobile data for the live class. This time, perhaps uh, mobile data is better than, better than Wi-Fi. I can understand it. We can uh, have pure drinking water from uh, tea balls. That's right. So true is your answer said three and four number false. Otherwise, all of your answers are true. Okay. Screen four. So we need to brush our teeth before meals. No, no, it a false after meals. Phone number false. Hobe, baba. And your uh, right answer should be after meals. Uh, thank you. Three and four are false. Otherwise, all answers are true. Well, so, so let's go there now. This is a completing sentence. And you just write your answer now. If you, we are healthy, we dash. You please write down. We'll be happy, right? So can uh, live a happy life. Yes, of course. So we can lead a sound life. That's good. You can lead a sound life. That's wonderful. Thank you. The right answer. And then we must be must be clean so that cannot be infected by germs. That's good. Thank you. Thank you, Jinshio. Your answer is also right. So we must be clean so that what? Safe, happy and sound life. 
that's good we can lead and that's fine so here you see we must be clean must be clean so that so that we can remain healthy so that we can remain healthy see your answer so you must exercise we must exercise to uh, you, we must exercise to keep fit we must exercise to keep fit that's good uh, and uh, nobody likes and dash dash person that means unclean person here is your answer is unclean person is the right answer and another one that uh, here you see uh, if we if we obey the laws of hygiene we and the last answer is here we can lead healthy and happy life we can lead healthy and happy life we can lead healthy and happy life probably that's the right answer Thank you. Okay, next we are going for make a list of five things that you do daily to maintain personal hygiene. So, because we will have to finish the class soon. Uh, so, you please write down, so make a list of five things that you do daily to maintain personal hygiene. Our personal hygiene to follow karajun, our pasta jinish kore thaki, potidin that you do, would you please write down them one by one? Act uh, write down one by one. Act or Right. Clean my hands for 20 seconds. That's good. Have a shower. Washing our hands. That's wonderful. So anyone, uh, would you please write down? Hurry up. We'll have to finish the class within within 10 minutes. Taking exercise, that's good. Right, I wash my hands, wear a mask, that's good. Okay, so let's see the first thing you will brush your teeth. Every day you brush your teeth, that's wonderful. Every day you wash your hands, that's good. And then we just take a bath every day. That's right, eat healthy food, taking exercise, and eating healthy food, balanced diet. That's good, drinking pure water. That's thank you very much for writing all of your answers and all these other things that we usually do daily, okay, for our personal hygiene. Okay, then uh, there are some of the MCQ questions for you. This time, are you ready? These uh, exercises are there. তোমাদের যখন যে লেসনটা পড়াবো তোমরা বাসা থেকে আগে এটা পড়ে নিবা তাহলে তোমাদের একটু পার্টিসিপেট করতে সুবিধা হবে দিস ইজ নট আ রিয়েল ক্লাস এটা একটা ভার্চুয়াল ক্লাস সো এখানে আসলে অনেক সময় দেওয়া যায় না হ্যাঁ সো ইউ সি প্র্যাকটিস মিন্স হোয়াট মিন দ্য অ্যাক্ট অফ প্র্যাকটিসিং ওয়ে অর ল ইউ প্লিজ হারি আফ রাইট ডাউন ইউর আনসার্স ফার্স্ট And everyone please write down the answer. I want to see all of you writing the answers. So some of you are writing, some of you are hiding yourself. That's good. Some of you are writing two and some of you are writing three. No, three is the right answer. Three is the right answer. Those, uh, yeah. Practice means the act of practicing. Act of practicing is the right answer. Then clean, uh, clean, dirty, calm, not dirty, not calm. Okay. And two number, your answer is correct. Not dirty. That means not dirty means clean. That's good. And then another word, godliness is your word. There you have written down. Three number four, like a purity. And no, I'm sorry, your answer is not right. So it should be sacredness. Sacredness, mana pobitruta. So this is godliness. And achieve means what? Achieve means profit, receive, give, or acquire. 
yes accurate is your right answer thank you accurate is your right answer and then uh, you will go to spiritually means what spiritually right spiritually is the word there you see spiritually means holy or purely or differently right your answer three is the right answer thank you yes divinely is the right answer good thank you very much for writing all of your answers together okay well done well done then so i'm going next thank you thank you very much writing all of your answers correct except c all of your answers were right thank you so next i'll go for one fill in the blanks for you Uh, uh, purity and sacredness have the same meaning of course there may be similar words but sacredness specially used for to mean spirituality okay uh, sacredness eta obosshoi tomake sacredness dite hobe purity tumi je kono bhabe pure hote pare purity hote paro ha arjun korte paro but sacredness arjun korar jonno you have to do it spiritually so that's why sacredness is your right answer not purity here you see the word hygiene means the practice of dash ourselves clean practice of a number cleanliness click click and now practice of cleanliness ourselves clean the word hygiene means the practice of right keeping is the right answer keeping ourselves clean keeping ourselves clean it also means to keep our body keep our home and workplaces clean it is dash for good health uh, Likacho, right essential necessary that's right answer so essential or necessary both of both the right answer both the right answers so you can write down any of the answer essential or uh, necessary that's good why is rafid aren't you writing down the answer Okay, then again hygiene is thought to be next to godliness your answer thank you very much and, and then it is because we cannot achieve anything is physically mentally or mentally or right mentally or spiritually right that's correct and the last one is the rule of cleanliness uh, no need to write down hygiene we must follow the rules of cleanliness as uh, the passage starts with the word hygiene uh, the rules of hygiene the rules of cleanliness ke hygiene bola hoche tahole shekhate the rules of hygiene na hygiene mane hoche je the rules of cleanliness this is called hygiene okay so your uh, hygiene is not the correct answer uh, this time you have to write down the word cleanliness probably you can understand okay there are some questions for you so what does hygiene mean so easy questions would you please write down the answer soon the next question what is next to godliness and i'm, I'm giving you five questions there so you please write it down so fast as you can and then what is important for good health what is important for good health And the next question is there should we keep our body clean and then the last question how can we get pure water uh, practice p-r-a-c-t-i-c-e likho to he a-c-n-i uh, a-c-e is used as a verb so the noun form is p-r-a-c-t-i-c-e Uh, write down one by one not don't write down all the answers together so one hotel hygiene means uh, to practice the rules of cleanliness that's good hygiene means keeping ourselves living and working places clean your answer is correct 
your you must get a hand clap for it your answer is correct no down no problem so next write down what is we can write down in short so hygiene is next to godliness that's good hygiene is next to godliness yes what is important for good health what is important for good health uh, you hurry up write down we have just few minutes in hand and today because of the networking problem we are let uh, otherwise jai hok ekta jinish shiklam ajke seta hocche je mobile data te onek beshi bhalo hocche so from the next class i will use mobile data so i wish that there will be no problem ami bhabtam je wifi chhara ashole wifi e bhalo hoy kintu ekhon dekham je no not that's not the right thing acha <coughs> That's right. So, what is good health is important to lead a happy life. And should we keep our body clean? Yes, of course, we should keep our body clean. To ask the question of why should we keep our body clean? I can personal take to bull it. Why should we keep our body clean? And the answer we should keep our body clean uh, to keep the body free from dirt and bacteria. Right. T boils. T boils. To he lega chho. No, no. We you don't have a we don't have a tube oil in uh, in this cosmopolitan city, right? So in this um, city life, that's why we will have to filter or boil our water that we drink. Thank you very much for writing your answers. Then we will go for the grammar hint. That is the last part, and we will complete it within three minutes there. So grammar hints is there. So I will today in this uh, passage we have just learned about some of the conditional sentences. Uh, if we if using if right. So uh, that means I thought that conditional sentences are really very important, and that's why your first conditional we have we can use uh, make three conditionals. Usually three conditionals. There are some other conditionals as well. So usually three types of conditionals we use. Often the first conditional is if. Subject V1 जो ही था के subject पर shall will can may plus V1 बस तो हो बे if there is subject plus V2 था के तो खौन हमरा subject पर उठ कूट might plus V1 बोझ बे and then third conditional if subject had plus V3 जो ही था के ता होले in that case हम देर subject उठ कूट might have plus V3 बस तो हो बे probably you can understand this third con ये तीन तीन टा conditional शुरू होते हैं first second and third conditional and there is another structure for the fourth third conditional uh, we cannot say that it is fourth conditional because this is the just simply the uh, substitute or the replacement of uh, third conditional. If in a third conditional, if the start cut of the second, the second type for D number center summary structure, the exige if the two they had the work or a hotel. So, is it clear to you? I can tell you that Monaco, J. If you put a present tense, Thakla, Poramra shall will can may plus V1 Boshobo. If you put a past tense, Thakla would could might plus V1 Boshobo. If you put a past perfect tense, Thakla would could might have plus V3. Our fourth number structure, I'm a dixit. If you put a past perfect tense, Jetta Thakish and if the two lady had take again. Structure. So all these are the four structures. I will give you. I will give you uh, one exercise is there. Please write down the answer. Only four answers is the last uh, part. There you see. If you invite me, I attend the function. You please write down the answer. And there, if you invited me, I attend the function. So what would be the uh, verb uh, right form of verbs there of attend and one thing that I want to recall that uh, remind you that attend attended attended attend is a present it a past is attended and past participle also is attended and then number C is there if you had invited me I attend the function you please write it down quick uh, write it down <coughs> And their last number here, you see, had you invited me, I attend the function. Probably you have a class with other teacher. I'm sorry. Uh, please write down the answer. I want to see you writing the answer. So the first one, uh, you see, if you put a present tense, so there are four sentences, you see. So in the first sentence, there you see the present tense. And the second sentence there is the past tense in the third sentence there is the past perfect tense and in the fourth number we have used had before subject had before subject no ayat first attended na baba 
attend attended attended এটা আমি present past participle form বলেছি so এখানে তোমার তোমার আগে যে structure যেটা তোমাকে বলে আসলাম সেই structure অনুযায়ী লিখতে হবে so Ruma Rahman লিখেছো that's why I shall attend your answer is correct so please write down the other answers for the other sentences so if you invited me so in that case your answer should attend okay B number what about the other heroes write down your answers so I if you invited me I attend the function we have just two minutes one minute in hand so please write it down quick so the first answer is right you can write down shall will can may plus v1 your answer is absolutely right you can write down any of the answer there so I uh, if you invite me I shall attend the party I will attend the party I can attend the party I may attend the party all of your answers are right then the second answer if you invited me so this time would invite is your answers thank you very much Connick uh, so would uh, would you can also write down should so would could might this better answer better answer I shall attend would attend would have attended then thank you very much Joshua. so uh, you can just write it down thank you and then third number which is would could might have plus v3 that means would have attended could have attended or so I might have attended is your answer there thank you no 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 sorry Ratul to me would have attended likhle attend present form Baba just you have to make the past participle form of the verb that means attended hobe huh? attended hobe and the last answer will be the same so would could might have attended and uh, those those of your answers so you will have to write down the rules first otherwise you cannot just write down the right form of verbs uh, rules are very important there so thank you those who have written down the right answer so let's see and thank you very much for attending the class for your uh, for your attend for your patience and actually for your participation here in this class i uh, really appreciate you and salute you for it so see you in the next class for the next lesson but before uh, i must request you to go through the lesson uh, the next lesson i will i'm just going one by one probably you can understand that what will be my next lesson so you will go to go go through it earlier okay so see you in the next class bye Allah peace see you then if you have any question you will go to the comment box and write down the, your question I will answer them all the more thank you Baba Allah peace